Hello, Guy Solis here, Gentleman's Edge. Uh, yeah, so <coughs> I uh, went to the shave shop over there and traded some straps for a razor. I also got so supporting su supporting the Arizona boy. I am not going to bloom this one because it's a real soft soap. I did buy the Cavendish from this company and it was really soft and it just disappeared just like that in my opinion. It didn't last very long. It didn't last as long as something like the glycerin soap, the mom, the mama's bear uh, dragon blood. But you have fun with it anyway, right? Uh, so I guess I might have to try to do some... Uh, lather management right so i'm not using so much uh soap uh, i know james is an expert at that so anyway uh so i'm going to be using scott canard's creations and uh my freshly strapped freshly honed freshly strapped bismarck by solingen so it's a beautiful razor it's my newest razor actually and there it is. So should shave shave perfect perfectly. Uh, I'm just kind of running out the door real quick again. Got to work a late shift today, so I'm gonna put a little bit of water on top of the soap. And uh, let's see, I'm ready to go there. Let me just add a little bit of. Uh, uh, let me pre-shave here. Okay, won't use pre-shave then. All right, so let's lather up, huh? Uh, Yep, you don't need any water. To, you don't need to bloom these soaps. It's just already. I just put a little bit on top with a wet brush, and it's going already. So <clears throat> let's see. Let's see if my lather management pays off. The Cavendish was really uh, surprisingly good. I really like that soap. So <clears throat> hats off to the Senor from Casa Grande. All right, let's try that. I'm pretty good. At least a two pass shave. Just got done working on my address thing. Uh, it's like a little dry. Uh, I was going to tear the yard apart and just uh, get a sod cutter and cut all the old turf out and put in some sod. Because the grass I planted a couple years ago looks excellent in the fall and the spring, but the rest of the year just can't water it enough. Nice lather. Uh, the scent. The scent of the cad from Phoenix of Kermit is uh, nondescript to me. It's just not very strong. I smell something. I don't know what it is. It's not just not there. Uh, now I'm starting to smell maybe a little bit of Cavendish type smell. Something something's catching me over here. But uh, let's get on with the shave, huh? So. Oh, wait a minute. Let's do this pass first. Nice and smooth. I actually shaved with this razor yesterday in the bathroom at work. I was showing a guy that was interested in some straight razor shaving, uh, some technique. Uh, I was hoping he'd buy a setup for me, but he didn't. Uh, and that's okay because uh, shaving with a straight razor is not for everybody. Uh,
and that's fine. Uh, people got to do whatever's comfortable for them, right? Now this razor, I got this razor from uh, uh, this shave shop. That every time I go in there, don't mean to sound critical, but I won't name the place. But every time I go in there, I just don't know what they're talking about. Now this is the second time I've seen a razor there that was looked like. Like some goofball tried to tone it. You can tell by the spine. The, the spine, instead of it being worn evenly across, it's kind of stepped down. You know what I mean? It's like, how do you do that shit? You know, maybe they should watch my, my video. <laughs> but, uh, this is going to be a trade and, he, and uh, all that. So, just no, no scent. at all from CAD. So I'm impressed with the, the soap as far as the slickness and the lather and everything goes, but I just have nothing to say about the scent. The scent is just not there. And that's one thing I really look for. That's how the speakeasy was too. So. Anyway, I'll be right back. All right, heading out the door. Here's what's left in my... The lather is phenomenal on this soap. Uh, I didn't buy the aftershave, I guess, because I didn't have it. But, you know, there's just so many aftershaves that I have. It's like, I don't need all these aftershaves. I mean, it's not really going to conflict with the scent of the soap because the scent of the soap is going to dissipate. So... Uh, just a little maintenance here real quick. Uh, anyway, so I guess I just put on the alum. So I'm going to put on some witch hazel. And I'm going to decide what I want to wear for... I am getting a scent of like the Cavendish scent to me. That's what I'm getting from my nose, as they say. So, I'll tell you what. I'm going to do is I think I'm going to put on some Cavendish aftershave. Haven't worn that in a long time. Uh, I'll be right back. So I keep my Cavendish in here instead of the plastic jobby. Uh, I like this thing. I just like stuff, man. I just like I have too much stuff, 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 stuff. So I better shake it up. So, okay, I got too much there. Is there really such a thing as too much Cavendish aftershave? I don't think so. All right, man, this is Guy Solis. I'm running out the door right now. And remember, even if you can trade stuff for some gear, it's always a good day for a shave. Y'all take care, man. I'm going to go do Route 66. It's going to be 3 o'clock in a little bit. I work till 11 o'clock tonight. Today is my Saturday. Later, man.